Chuma Gorath, a Marvel character and a reality walker. He is a being with exceptional power and wherever he goes, you can rest assured chaos will follow. He is a class 3 demon who hails from an extra dimensional realm. Shuma Garaf is considered to be a god and a deity and is so powerful it takes characters such as Dr. Strange to deal with him. He has Mystic Stare and Mystic Smash and according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list he is currently the third ranking character in F tier. But even with his placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Chuma Garath an extraterrestrial menace? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Shuma Gorath move list from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Shuma Gorath moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Mystic Stare. This move is Shuma's projectile attack. To do this move, charge back for two seconds and press forward plus any punch button. The light punch version travels at a slower pace while the Fierce Punch variation moves much faster and further. Both versions of the move only score for 6 hits. If the Mystic Stare touches the opponent, it leaves eyeballs that will latch onto the enemy, which will explode moments later. This is really the most damaging part of this attack. The Mystic Stare explosion can be disrupted if Shuma Garath is hit, which will cause the attack to end prematurely. The Mystic Smash is the attack where Shuma Garath launches itself at the enemy while surrounding himself with spikes. To do this move, charge back for 2 seconds and then press forward plus any kick button. The light kick version has more of an arc and travels at a short distance. Okay. While the fierce kick variation has full screen range. Both versions of the attack score for five hits. While the mystic smash is not so combo friendly, it is a good way to apply pressure to the enemy as well as getting closer to them. Also, the Mystic Smash can be done in midair. This move is called the Vitalization. To do the move, do a half circle back plus any kick button. So, this move is Shuma Garab's command grab. This throw does more damage than the basic throw, so most likely it should be the one you're going for. Also, this attack is unblockable, so that is definitely an added bonus. The devitalization has a fast recovery, so you shouldn't be in a pickle if you miss the attack. Shuma Garaf has four normal throws. 
press forward and fierce punch to execute the Nash and Clutch. Press forward and fierce kick to execute the Latch and Parasite. Press forward and fierce punch in midair for an aerial fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce kick in midair for an aerial latching parasite. Okay. Press up plus fierce punch to do a strange gaze. Press down plus fierce kick while you mid air to do the pressurification. Shuma Garaf has one launcher but two different ways to do it. Press light kick twice when close for a pop up. or press down forward plus fierce kick for the standard launcher. Or should I say standalone launcher? So really, um, so yeah, like when you tap light kick twice, you know, the second light kick is actually is his standing medium. So yeah, the standard medium kick is a uh, Shuma Garaf's launcher. You can do Schumer's Garaf Taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold like kick and press start if you play in the Dreamcast version. So, the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Chaos Dimension. This is a move where Schumer Garaf ensnares the opponent in the alternate dimension. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. Then afterwards, get close and press either the fierce punch or the fierce kick button. This move plays out a lot like Spiral's Metamorphosis Hyper. After you initiate the move, you have to get close to the enemy and touch them with either Fierce Punch or Fierce Kick to finish the move. The Chaos Dimension is easily Shuma's Garaf's most damaging Hyper, but it costs 3 levels to perform. So the last hyper I like to discuss is called a Hyper Mystic Smash. This hyper is based on the Mystic Smash. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. Shuma Garaf will send doppelgangers at the opponent to rack up some damage. But in order to do the most damage with this hyper, you need for most of the clones to connect with the enemy. Also, the Hyper Mystic Smash does well with giving chipping damage. Here's what to expect when you use Shuma Garav as an assist character. Shuma's Alpha Assist would do a Fierce Punch Mystic Stare. His beta assist would do a fierce kick mystic smash. And his gamma assist will perform a fierce punch mystic stare. Overall, I feel like Shumo Garaf could be played like a keep away character or 
he could be all up in your face. It really all depends on who he's facing in battle. When playing Keep Away, use Mystic Stare and Hyper Mystic Smash to keep opponents at bay. Shuma is a bit on the slow side when it comes to speed, so we have to compensate for that with precision and accuracy when fighting the enemy. Well, with that being said, here are some tips to help out your gameplay with Shuma Garaf. When playing in your face style, make sure to go for Devitalization whenever you can. The Chaos Submission is one of the most damaging hypers in the game, and if you land it, you can instantly take off about 50% of the enemy's health. Speaking of the Chaos Dimension, it's possible to do an OTG combo right after it. When playing in your face style, remember that Shuma Garaf can be played like a grappler. Whenever using Shuma Garaf as an assist, make sure to use the beta one, which is the Fierce Kick Mystic Smash. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.